Hi guys, it's me Wayne from Geeks Tech. And I've been asked several times if I would do a bit of a home office tour. So you can see some of the equipment I use for my reviews and that. And uh, I thought today's a good day to do it. So here's a quick tour of my home office and including some of the equipment I use for my reviews. Now starting up, I'm going to go to my uh, PC. Now this is mainly my gaming beast PC, but I do also use... Uh, this for screencasts occasionally. It's a uh, Intel Core i7 series, it's a 3.5 gigahertz, but it has been overclocked to 4 gigahertz. I've 16 gigabytes of RAM in there, uh, 120 uh, SSD, it's got two uh, one terabyte hard drives in it, and it's also got two, one two terabyte hard, external hard drive as well. So plenty of storage in there. Uh, this is a 3D monitor by Asus or Asus or however you pronounce this. Apparently you can pronounce it in a, in a few ways that brand, but yeah, pretty decent screen. Uh, slight fault with it though, it's, it's got a dead pixel on it. A bit annoying, so it's got to be replaced. Uh, this is uh, my gaming keyboard. Again, this is mainly my gaming setup. Uh, this is the... Uh, Cyborg uh, uh, keyboard, I believe it's the version 7. Really good keyboard. Uh, moving on, it's a Steel Series mouse. A really good mouse, it's a laser gaming mouse. Uh, this here is my Rowcat headset, very good headset. This is the uh, Rowcat Cave. Highly recommend this headset all day long. I've got two mouse mats here. Now, people have asked me in the past why well, I've got two. Well, the bottom one is more of a control surface mouse by Stereo Series, and the second one is more of a speed one. So, depending on the game I play, sometimes yeah, you know, I will switch them over. Uh, so that's basically why I've got the two surfaces. Uh, over here, we've got the uh, Brother label printer. This particular one is the QL560 uh, series. Uh, really good. I use it to print off uh, return labels and that. Uh, here we've got JBL uh, desktop speakers, I've got on the other end. And there's my 2 terabyte uh, external hard drive. We've got a USB extender cable right there. And there is the main PC as well. It's one of them slimline ones. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, here we've got a, uh, a joystick. Or joypad, I should say. I don't really use it that often. Uh, and then going on is one of my other bad boys. Now, this is the QNAP. Uh, I can't quite remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, TS469 Pro, I think, something like that. Um, it's really good. On here, I store uh, a time machine back up to one more Max. Well, actually, two of my Macs, I should say. Um, I store my movies, my film, uh, not films, that's movies, isn't it? Uh, movies, uh, music, and that sort of thing on here as well. Uh, website backups, I'm running a website on here. I've got a statistics program running on it. Uh, I've got quite a lot of stuff running on this, to be honest. Um, it will be eventually set up into a RAID 5 configuration uh, that will allow a, a drive to fully fail. And if the drive fails, I'll replace it with another drive and the whole lot will be rebuilt. Uh, so it's, I'm definitely putting it into a RAID file configuration because it's like a, a safety feature. If one drive goes, stick another drive in, rebuild it, and I've got all my data back. So. Uh, I've got two drives for the moment, I've got to get two more, then I will be configuring it. And moving on. Uh, we've got my iMac here, which is what I use to edit my videos and all that, search the web. I basically use this more than my PC. So that's the sort of stuff I, I want. Well, the keyboard itself is the editor's keys. And this keyboard is really for a Final Cut Pro uh, 10, which is what I use. And as you can see, the keys are all coloured and highlighted and labelled. So it just basically allows you to edit uh, videos I have a lot quicker. Yeah, uh, remote control to my uh, video camera. Here we got an external hard drive which I use to store my review uh, edits on. This is just a uh, USB plug. A desk move speaker there. I've got a uh, USB uh, 
a powered port so that goes to the, to the Mac. And there is the Vonage uh, Earth Typhoon uh, router. Uh, coming over here is my me, uh, me keyboard for my Mac and a trackpad. Now it's, in, now it's put into this dock thing here which is really good and it holds it all together. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Apple mouse right there. Here we've got the uh, iDact uh, multi charger so it allows me to charge up several more devices at the same time. Then we've got my MacBook Pro which I love to bits and I've got my iPad 4th generation right there. Uh, coming around the back, we got the Energizer uh, uh, battery uh, pack recharger right here. Very good this one is, it charges up within an hour. Here we got a, uh, another external hard drive which is basically my time machine for this Mac right here. Uh, and then we got my D-Link uh, router which is the DR DIR855, you can see it down there but it is the A55. And then we got my my broadband router right here from Virgin Media, which I've got set up into modem mode to that. Then underneath that, I have got a a network uh, switch there because I need more connections than this uh, router allowed me. So now I've got uh, extra connectors right here because that's connected into that. So that's basically how all that works. So that's that. Now moving on over here is. The video camera that I use for all my reviews. There's a tripod itself, a pretty decent tripod to be fair. I'm not 100% sure on the mic off the top of my head. Uh, this is a new bit of port right here. Now, on here, I'm going to be attaching a small 7 inch monitor, which basically now will allow me to view my angles when I'm sat like here doing my reviews and that. Because uh, it's quite hard to actually judge if looking from that distance. Into there, I usually got that like that, and I try and look at it in a bit of a pain. So, at least with a seven inch monitor on there, I'll be able to uh, view it a lot better. Now, the camera itself is a JVC, it's the GY slash, no, sorry, GY dash HM100, I believe. It's a 1080i, and it's, it is a really good camera. I've been using it now for what is it? Coming on to three years, I think, no, about two and a half years, and I've been really happy, yeah, since I bought it. it does really good videos, professional looking, I really cannot fault it. It really is a powerful uh, camera, you yeah, know, really am happy with this. Uh, on it, we got the uh, Rode mic, which to be fair, I don't really use it that often because I use this the wireless kit up the top here. Which is the Sennheiser and it's the EW100. Now it is a wireless uh, microphone system, so I do need a wireless license, which I do have, and I'll renew every one or two years depending on what I renew it for. Uh, on the top here, we also have a light. It's nothing special, it's just a cheapo, but it does the job uh, for what I need. And then here we got uh, a multi attachment thing, so I can attach these two. Onto the camera itself. Uh, I'll just show the side view of the camera. So it is a really good camera. Now over here we've got the, uh, the the second part of the wireless uh, thing that's attached onto there. That's the uh, microphone itself that I use. And there's the clip-on mic right there. So this is what I basically use this all the time for my reviews. Uh, going on down here, we have the uh, Sennheiser MD46. Now, this is the cordroid uh, pattern. This is a proper professional uh, reporter's microphone. Uh, I do take this out to places like the Gadget Show, so I can do uh, interviews and talk to uh, people as well. So, yeah, that's what I use this a laugh for. It really is a solid microphone. Highly recommend it. Right now, moving on, we got right here is the uh, Audio Technica. I don't you can see it's the Audio Technica AT2020. It is a USB microphone, and I use that basically for screencasts when I do them. That's just a uh, surround sound speaker. That's a surround sound speaker there. A bit of cleaning gear, a uh, bit of boxing up stuff there, 
and a few DVDs and that up there that I'm watching at the moment. Moving on, we've got a Apple TV. We've got my uh, Nikon or Nikon, however you, you say it, uh, battery pack. A uh, few attachments there for my TV, which is hanging up on the wall. We got my CCTV monitor right there, another surround sound speaker, plugs. Uh, another monitor there, which has got to go to tip because it's broken. That's its replacement. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, this is me a laser printer. It is a color laser, and this is the HP LaserJet Pro CM1415FN. Really good print, I'm really happy with that. It's fast as well. Now this is a wireless sender for the Epson uh, projector that I'm reviewing at the moment. And that is the EHTW6100W, which is a Epson uh, 3D projector. Now the beauty of this is, is I've got here, uh, it connects it up, US, uh, not USB, the uh, HDMI connected up into here which is coming from my AV receiver down, uh, setup down there, Mr. Einstein setup, which is the uh, Onkyo. So I don't know the model offhand. So I've got that set up into there. Then that sends the signal wirelessly from there to that projector up there. And that gives you then the signal, obviously from there, sends the signal from there up to there. Brilliant, love it. Uh, moving on. Yeah, so review boxes down there. Now this is another brilliant bear kit. This is the Rocky Fish, uh, Rocky Boost. Now this allows you to play uh, music uh, wirelessly, or any type of sound really that you got connected up into it wirelessly. Uh, this one here you can basically connect your speakers in, and this one here is your sender slash receiver because it's this is beer for both is the sender and receiver. Uh, but this I've got set up to, as a sender to that receiver. Uh, you basically plug in like a mp3 player or connect it up to uh, your PC or wherever it, there and then it just sends the sound to that. So I use it for reviewing speakers like you've probably seen me do uh, and I play my music and it gets sent then to that and that's how you can hear it on the speakers. Uh, this is a 15 meter HDMI cable Beauty with this cable is it's got uh, this here, which is basically a, uh, a booster. Because after so many meters, the signal then would degrade. So you get a really, you know, your picture ain't just good. Well, with that, it's a booster. So after you get so far, it re boosts the signal. So you get a good, clear, good quality picture. Uh, we've got a few bits and bobs there, a couple of empty boxes, an old review item. Uh, moving on, moving on, we've got another review item down here, which is the bookcase, which is for a iPad. Uh, empty box, empty box, review item. Yeah, it's a Swish Voice BH01U, so pretty good actually. It's like a telephone for uh, your tablet or uh, that sort of thing, really Bluetooth stuff. That you could talk through. Uh, another review item, which is the Trust uh, GXT35 wireless gaming mouse, which I'll be reviewing soon. Another empty box over there, which is the Olympus uh, digital voice recorder. Here we got me uh, my Nikon D5000 series camera, which I absolutely love to bits. Uh, moving up, we got a, a Bluetooth remote control helicopter, which I'm reviewing. Surround sound speaker, telephone, my old retro telephone. Uh, we've got a true core device here. This is really good. It basically stops unwanted uh, telephone calls, like marketing calls and nuisance calls. Uh, you pay about £15 a year, uh, then you can control all the sections then via the internet, or actually on the device itself using these buttons. So it basically blocks calls, but if they do get through, to you, then basically you would just press your star twice on your telephone as I'm talking to you, and you zap some. It cuts the calls off, and you will block that telephone number. Then, and if they try and call you back, they basically get an automatic message saying that they shouldn't have phoned you. You, you haven't got the permission, and blah blah blah, and that's about it. They they just won't get through to you. Remote controls, another review item. 
uh, bits and bobs, digital force record there, that's the Olympicus. I bought this a few weeks ago actually, bought it to take to the uh, upcoming gadget show. Uh, just bits and bobs. Uh, that's my chair, that, that sits on, and that's my set at the back. That's basically it really, I'll show the Epson printer up, uh, sorry, the Epson projector up there. Which, as a matter of fact, I'm, I am going to be buying this particular model as soon as I get the money, because I'm that impressed with, with it, I'm definitely going to buy it. Now I'm going to be projecting that up onto that wall over there. Uh, I'm going to be taking this away, taking the TV down, take the light down, and I'm going to project it all across that wall. And it does fit, because I, I've actually tried it as well. So... That's basically it guys, that is the home office tour and that is the equipment that I use. Uh, hope you like it, any questions on any of the stuff you see in my room do uh, feel free to pop a comment in below and ask a question and I try and get back to you. Uh, well that's it for me and uh, I do have some reviews coming up this week so and obviously in a few months time as well. I've always got reviews coming so do look out for them and uh, and until the next time, we will catch you later.